It's always great to go through the Linux survey from Steam to see how Linux is progressing. And it's going to be extremely exciting to compare how the Steam Deck makes a big difference. Of course, these are the tech specs for a Steam Deck and down towards the software, we have the operating system, which is Steam OS 3.0 and it's Arch based. As the hardware comes out and since it's actually supported directly by Steam, we'll have some great survey numbers come in, I'm sure in the next few months. And I wanted to go through this survey here for February 2022 because the Steam Deck is now getting shipped out. But before we get to the operating system usage statistics, let's talk about what this survey is for those of you that don't know. So this is a monthly survey that gets conducted by Steam. They collect data about hardware as well as software that their customers are using and keep it completely anonymous. And of course, it's also optional. So now that we know what it is, let's check out some interesting statistics here. First off, NVIDIA graphics cards take up 76% of the market share, whereas AMD only takes up about 14.82%, Intel a whopping 8.83%, and anything else 0.21%. Moving on to systems and various other DirectX versions on systems, the overwhelming majority of people are using DirectX 12 on their GPU and Windows 10. Over here on the right hand side, we have PC processor usage by manufacturer. AMD only has around 31% of the market share, according to this survey in February, and Intel a whopping 60, almost 9%. Moving on to PC number of CPUs per computer. This one's always interesting because as the time goes by, we see more and more cores introduced to CPUs. So this time scale for the survey takes between September 2020 to February 2022. So notice how the trend has been increasing with the amount of cores here. Eight core CPUs keep growing, whereas four CPUs keep going down and six CPUs is actually going up, increasing. So pretty soon we might expect six CPUs to take over as the primary number of cores in a computer. The next thing before we get down to talking about Linux is how much the MacBook share is with 50% of people having the MacBook Pro and around 32% of people having the MacBook Air. It looks like the MacBook Air is actually steadily gaining over this time period between September 2020 and February 2022, whereas the MacBook Pro is actually increasing what seems to be at a lesser pace. Finally, VR headsets, which is always interesting. I like looking at this one as well. Between September 2020 and February 2022, we are seeing a fairly steady incline of the Oculus Quest 2 with 47% of the market share, and it started incredibly from pretty much nothing since it wasn't really even available, but this is quite the progression here. The next runner up is the Valve Index HMD, and following that is Other. Since you're still following along, make sure to smash that like button for me. It really does help me out. Let's now talk about Linux and operating systems. That's what we're really excited about, and I'm extremely excited to see what the results look like in about a year after the Steam Deck has been out for a while. Is it gonna make it or is it gonna be a flop? We'll see, we'll know soon. Let's now talk about operating systems. So of course, as we would expect, the most popular operating system is Windows 10, 64-bit, 75% of people use it, actually 2% decrease in Windows 10. That could be because people are going to Windows 11 and various other things like hopping over to Linux. We'll look into more specifics there in a moment. System RAM, 16 gigs is typical with 50% of the market share, and that's actually grown over this period. Intel CPU speeds, somewhere between 2.3 and 2.69 gigahertz, 18% of the market share. Physical CPUs, four, we already talked about that. The video cards, we already know, NVIDIA, VRAM, virtual RAM, eight gigs. Primary display resolution, people are still using 1920 by 1080 with 67% of people. If you have a multi-monitor setup, you got 3840 by 1080. That's just because it's two 1920 by 1080 monitors, giving you 70% of the market share. Free hard drive space, somewhere between 100 and 250 gigabytes. Total hard drive space above a terabyte, 50% of people. We already talked about the VR headsets and other settings. So let's check out more in-depth information. This is where we get to see Linux numbers. Let's talk about what the market share currently looks like. Last time I looked at this survey, we just barely got above 1%. It looks like it actually has stayed consistently over 1%. This is an exciting number to look after. We can see there's a tiny 
increase here for Arch Linux, the 64-bit version. But this is the one that might become significantly bigger in the next following months as that Steam Deck gets into the hands of people and people start playing. We're going to be watching this number really closely. Besides that, the main Linux distribution being used is Ubuntu 20.04, the long-term support edition, 64-bit, with about 0.15 of the total 1% market share of Linux. Are you wanting to learn more about Linux? Well, check out my 25 page extensive checklist for your Linux journey at learn.savvynick.com and start checking out things right away. Of course, Linux doesn't have too big of a market share quite yet, but this also doesn't include things like servers where Linux is predominant in because this is a survey of gamers that use Steam on their operating system. So 96% of the share, Windows OS X or Mac only 2.62%, and then Linux 1% of the total market share. If we look, we got Ubuntu first, Arch Linux second, Manjaro third, Ubuntu 21.10.07, and Linux Mint 0 0.06. Another stat that I'm always interested in is what kind of graphics cards people are actually using out there. Let's check out the biggest growth here of graphics card model usage. But before we do, make sure to subscribe below. You're already watching the talk. You might as well follow along for more videos. So according to the February 2022 survey here that we're looking at, we've seen increases in, let's see what the most is. And looking through these, it seems to be the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060, the laptop graphics card, with a 0.28% increase in the model usage, followed by the regular NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 for desktop computers. So we can extrapolate that most hardware vendors are putting in the 3060 RTX in their computers and selling them. The GeForce GTX is still holding very steady on top at 7.7% of all graphics cards that gamers are using on Steam, which is quite impressive. So most people get away with this graphics card. You don't need much better than that in order to play whatever games they're playing, at least. A big part of the market share, too, is the 2060, as well as the 1650. I know a lot of laptops come with the 1650. And this really goes to show you how much NVIDIA really dominates in the graphics card space. Well, I hope you enjoyed going through this survey and looking at the statistics with me. Let me know if anything surprised you in the comment section below. Also, let me know if you're excited to see what's going to happen with the Steam Deck. I know I am. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comments section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.